Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I'm going to show you the difference in Microsoft Word 2013 between Save and Save As. Now, as you can see right here, I've already brought up a completely blank and new document, uh, unsaved as you can tell by the document one at the top, and we're going to go ahead and save it in two different ways. Firstly, when you hit the Save button, it's going to try to save the document, and if it doesn't already have a saved location, if you already haven't saved it somewhere on the, on the computer, then it's basically going to default to save as. You'll see that when I hit save, and I haven't actually saved the file, it's going to take me to save as. And that's because save as, the difference is that it lets you specify the save location for the document. And because my file currently is unsaved, it's just a, a temporary file in memory, I need to give it a permanent location on the hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so let's see, well you can save it on OneDrive, sure, why not? Uh, as we talked about in the last tutorial, you can integrate OneDrive as a great way to back up your files made using um, Microsoft Word 2013. Okay, uh, let's call it tutorial save test file. I wasn't sure if that was an illegal character there or not. Okay, so you see that we have uh, this file. It's been saved. You can tell because it has the name at the top. Let's go ahead and um, let's say give it some text right here and then open it back up to just to prove that it was saved and it wasn't saved like it is now with the new text in it, but it was saved as a default file. Ah, I guess it defaults to the memory. Uh, okay. Well, we can still prove that it, it will save. So let's go ahead and save it again. Then we'll close Microsoft Word out, and then I'll open it back up. So let's go ahead and hit save. Now you'll see there was a little animation on my mouse cursor, but it didn't give me a save as prompt. It didn't want me to specify a location, and that's because it's just overriding the file that we already had. So now let's go ahead and close the file and open it back up to prove that it is, in fact, uh, saved somewhere in memory. So, tutorial save test file on the Chris's Tutorials OneDrive documents. Let's go ahead and open that up. And you'll be able to see that, in fact, by hitting the save button, the product or the document did, in fact, save to the computer. So, to reemphasize, the main difference between save and save as is that... If you hit save after the file has been saved once, it's just going to default to the same location and the same name. It's going to overwrite the old file. Whereas if you hit save as, it's always going to ask you where do you want to put the file and what name do you want to put it as. Of course, if you use save as, then you can overwrite the old file as well. Of course, when you do that, save it in the same folder with the same name using the prompt. I'll go ahead and show you that right now it will uh, ask you if you're sure that you want to overwrite the file. So let's go ahead and do that here, clicking on tutorial save test file, um, I think that's an apostrophe, dot, dot, x, doc x, and we'll hit save, it'll say, are you sure you want to overwrite the file? We've already seen that there's a file in the location, and we get yes. But with save, it just goes ahead and overwrites the old one automatically, it doesn't give you any more prompts. So uh, that's really all there is to saving inside of Microsoft Word 2013 and really most programs as well. Text editors, the save functionality doesn't change too much. In any case, I've been Chris. I hope you found this at least marginally helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about saving files in Microsoft Word or really any other program, just leave a comment down below. Aside from that, thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.